Hello, good morning. I am so excited to film this video because I have been collecting these pieces for weeks now. I wanna try on some outfits, dresses, and even swimsuits for my bachelorette weekend, my bridal shower, and even my rehearsal dinner. But I would love to hear your feedback, input, and opinions on what looks most flattering, what's a good purchase buy, and what I should just return. A lot of these pieces are like very strappy, sleeveless, so wearing a bra would be a little bit difficult. Even with the strapless bras that I have, you can see it. So I am going to be applying my boob tape here, which encompasses some nipple covers and two of the breast pads. One for the left, one for the right. And I have a larger set for if I'm wearing something that is more v-neck and I need it to be open in here, it kind of like pulls it up. Before I put those on, I did want to mention that links to each of the items that I will be trying on today will be in the description box down below. I appreciate you going through those as they are often affiliate links and I do earn a small commission if you click and make a purchase. All right, let's get the first outfit on. Okay, so I'm all strapped in. I have the one larger piece over here kind of pulling up and in. And then I use some of their straight tape, which comes with the large set that I got. And this kind of looks like a little ace bandage, but it's tape. I'm using that to kind of pull in the outside and the inside because I have a little bit too much boobage. Um, and they're definitely a little more uh, droopy since nursing my first two kids. I will say we are going to a pool party later, so I will be wearing this underneath my bathing suit today. And I fully expect it to last all day. And it's really comfortable and no rashes because I've been getting like rashes underneath my breasts from my bras lately. So I started using that. These products from Mega Babe, I bought them at Target and it has been helping. So it was definitely worse under there last week. And yeah, I'm really happy with these. It's like a powder and then this one's more of like a deodorant stick. It says thigh rescue, but I put it under my breast. Apparently lots of boob talk today. Let's try on our first dress. <laughs> Okay, so what do we think about this one? This one's from Amazon, and I will be wearing like little heels with it. I was thinking about wearing this for the rehearsal dinner. And as you can see, I would just trim up, like if I was actually wearing this with my boob tape that day, and I would just trim up a little scissors just so you wouldn't see it. But since I'm gonna be trying on other dresses, I'm not gonna mess with it today. But I love the flowy sleeves. I love that it's very flattering. I love wrap style dresses. I feel like it's very uh, flattering on my body type since I'm a little bit bigger, a little tiny bit smaller, and then a little, a lot bigger on the bottom. And yeah, so the back is totally covered there. I absolutely love dresses that are like flowy like this, very chiffon like. And I don't know, what do you think about this one? This sash here, comes loose so I could either like just tie it in the back and have a bow in the back or bring it back around front and have like a little bow right here I will put all of the sizing details down in the description box with their links as well because I know sizing is very it's very various <laughs> along the different brands and styles and I'm not gonna keep track of it as I'm trying things on or the prices so prices links sizing all of that will be in the description box down below Oh, and don't be fooled, I am wearing a layer of Spanx. It keeps rolling down on me though, which is driving me insane. But this is actually from the Spanx brand. Okay, potential rehearsal dinner dress number two. This one definitely fits a little bit more closer to the body. Uh, again, I love how flowy and chiffon the bottom is. And the top definitely makes me look a little more top heavy with the ruching that's going on up here. I don't know, is it picking up on the camera? It's got some light little folds here. And then the flowy sleeves. There is a V back to it. And a little bit of a satin like rim around the back. But that's already, it's attached to the dress, the satin piece here. Maybe I'll get like a little cute little belt, sparkle belt, or maybe just leave it as is. What do we think about this one? And this will be fine when I wear a pair of like little heels. So this is dress number two. Okay, dress number three was Sophia's pick on the rack, but I don't know that I like it on. It is a stretch, there's no zippers or anything to it. Um, it's more of like a knee length dress, so maybe I could use this for the bridal shower. Um, I do like the sleeves and how flirty and butterfly-esque they are. 
it's very, very see-through. So if I was wearing any sort of bra rather than just the tape, you would definitely see it. I don't know if I like this dart down the boobage there. I don't know, what do you think? It is comfortable. It's very, very comfortable because it's like a stretch dress. I don't think this is the one. <laughs> so dress number four is from the wedding section of Torrid. It is extremely long. So even with heels, I would still be dragging like on the floor. And the top, um, online, it just looks so pretty on the model. And on me, I feel like it just makes it look very um, nightgownish, very top heavy. I don't know, what do you think about this one? I, I, I do like the little sash. There's a little bit of a shimmer sequin-esque to the top. And I do love the lace with the chiffon. I love how beautifully flowy. This is very well made. This is definitely a dress with weight to it. There's tons of layers under here. Not like the Amazon dresses that have like one or two layers. This is definitely a very well made dress. Okay, so next dress is another Sophia pick, which by the way, if you don't know, Sophia is my nine year old daughter. And she said she loved that this one was classy and it had the lace. Um, it's a bit of a bodycon, or at least on me, it's definitely a little bit tighter, more of a knee length dress, so this would be better for maybe the bridal shower. Um, I almost wish it came down just a little bit on here. So much coverage up here kind of makes me look very um, blobbish in my opinion. I don't know, is this acceptable? Is this okay? Uh, is it too tight in the no-no region or can I pull this off? Let me know. So I just showed Logan this one, or I've been showing him each of them, and he said this one he likes the least. I think it's the up here. It's a bit confusing. I almost wish it just came up into a strap underneath. It's kind of strange that it like ends, and then it's not near my boob. Like you'd think, I don't know how to explain it. Like I feel like it comes up too high. Um, not my favorite. I do love the lace, and I love the edging here. How pretty is that? But I think I'm gonna have to pass on this one. But what do you think? Oh, and let me show you the back. Got like some little bows on the back. Um, it's just a zipper though. I almost didn't order this dress, but I'm so glad I did. I love it so much. There is a bit of a lace detail down on the bottom. This is see-through right here and here. So I wonder if I wore like a little tank top because it doesn't come down too low that I couldn't wear like a traditional bra. Maybe a little um, cami or... Um, like a liner underneath just I don't know if I like the skin through popping through I mean it's not bad at the same time I love the lace on the sleeves and it is pretty freaking long like even with heels it would definitely be dragging on the floor um I really like this one Logan and the kids say they really like it I'm curious to hear what you think look at how pretty the bottom is there look at how pretty the lace is Okay, so this one here is actually from Target, and Logan said it looks old ladyish, but I love it. I kind of would wear this on a regular day, bridal stuff or not. Maybe I'll wear this to the bachelorette weekend because it's just very summery, very flowy. I think it came in a pink color too. What do you think, Nora? Nora, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you like this one? I like this one. I might just keep this one just for fun just because I like it. What do you think? Oh, you're such a pretty girl. You're such a pretty girl. Uh, this one here is from Cheyenne and is definitely more a bachelorette weekend-ish. I love that there is a little bit of a clip here so it's not so exposing, but I love how airy and lightweight it is. It is hitting me right where I want it to. I love the flowy sleeves. If you see like this wrap style flowy sleeve thing is totally like my jam right now. And I could use this as a bathing suit cover up or just going out to grab some brunch with the girls. And oh, there's a little tear here. I didn't realize that that wasn't attached. How cute. Um, I like this one. I'm gonna keep this one because I find it to be like beachy-esque. Okay, so this dress here isn't all white, but it's like white with an animal print to it. And it looked way better on the model, but actually now that I see it in the little viewfinder, it's not that bad. I figured this was more of a bachelorette weekend, maybe go out to dinner type of dress, but I don't know. It's a little more casual now that I have it on. Um, it's definitely more casual-esque than uh, dressier. I thought it was a different material. Um, I'm not hating it. It definitely 
needs to be careful with this. I wish there was maybe a little pin. Maybe I'll kind of put like a little button um, down here to hold this close. But uh, maybe I'll use this as a bathing suit cover up instead. Because the other white dress that I just had on, I just went and had breakfast. Logan made some eggs and bacon that were amazing. And it, it, I just felt so like, I don't know, I felt pretty in that last dress. This one, not as pretty, but I don't hate it at the same time, if that makes sense. Okay, so I have two swimsuits to share with you. This one is from Shine, and I love it so much. I feel like it's so flattering. I love that it's a little bit more of a high-waisted, but not all the way up. There's a little bit of skin showing, and I love this print. Even though it's not all white, it's still the white-esque type of uh, feel. And Logan's like, is this a swim top? And I was like, yes, how cute is this? I don't like the circular pads that are very obvious that are in the swimsuit. So what I would personally do is if I wasn't gonna tape it like I have today, which you could totally have your boobies taped and wear it with your swimsuit. That's kind of like the whole point is that these don't, like the tape doesn't come off when you sweat or get wet unless you put oil on them. But I don't like, see how the little circle thing right here? So what I would do if I wasn't taping myself and I wanted to wear this swimsuit was use these reusable silicone little booby things that I got from Target. It was like 10 bucks. They're again, reusable. You just rinse them off and put them back in their little case. These are amazing. So again, I feel bad. <laughs> My mom is probably cringing at all the boob talk in this video, but I love this. I'm a little bit up on my weight at the moment. I'm not even sucking it in. This is like what it, where, where I'm at right now. Um, yeah, I'm a little a bit up on my weight at the moment and I feel really good and confident. I think I'm gonna wear this to the barbecue today. Okay, so I took the little booby pads out because they're, again, they're just like perfectly circular and it's just weird. Um, it just doesn't, doesn't look right. And again, I am taped today, so they are like nice and somewhat lifted, but this is what it looks like without the pad. And I almost forgot to show you, I have this beautiful uh, kimono, very delicate, lacy coverall. I thought this would be a perfect little cover up for being suit. I love that it's all white, bit of a flowy sleeve. And this is from Cheyenne too. Um, so this kind of goes with the whole bridal and dreamy-esque, maybe like honeymoon type of vibes. I do have a longer one that I'm gonna try on next though. So here is the longer kimono. It's definitely more of a floor length. It's so beautiful. Look at that detail. Like you can even wear it with some lingerie or a bathing suit or maybe over like a little shift dress. Um, I love this so, so much. Look at how flowy the sleeves are and ah, this is so, so pretty. Um, the bathing suit on the other hand, so cute. I love that it's all white, but it is, it's big on me, which is crazy because this is the only thing that hasn't fit pretty much all day today. And I'm so sad that it doesn't fit because it's so cute. It's just like an all white bathing suit with an open back, covers the bum. Um, I did leave my undies on in case you see any lines or anything like that, just for hygienic purposes. <laughs> But yeah, even with being taped up, I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this out. Maybe I could like, straps aren't adjustable and I kind of wish they were because that's like really the only issue. So maybe I can like use my sewing machine and like make this come up a little bit more because look at how cute that is. I also got this asleep. You can hear the puppies playing in the other room. Oh my gosh. I also got this sleep shirt from Torrid. I got it in a size one. I love that it says Mrs. and it's in pink, like that rosy, dusty rose pink, which is the color that we're using for the wedding. And, but I would totally be pairing this with more comfortable like sleep shorts, but it didn't come as a set. It was just the top. And I think this was on clearance, so I'm not sure if you'd be able to find it, but I will try to link to it, of course. It is super soft. Of course, a little see-through because it is white. I mean, not terribly, it's not that bad. You can't like see the tape that I have on or anything like that. But I just thought this was cute to wear like the bachelorette weekend or even like on my honeymoon. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm getting married. This is crazy. Like that is nuts. Okay, and the last outfit I'm gonna share for this haul is this a Walmart top. It's kind of like a peplum cut, um, sort of like a cray sort of like a creepy type fabric. Super comfortable, you could wear a regular bra with this. I love the flirty little sleeves. And I'm just wearing a pair of jean shorts from Stitch Fix that I got. 
Um, I did forget to show you guys the shoes that I have for these outfits. Check out how cute these little sandals are. They have like a little bit of a heel to them and they're all white, they're slip-ons, so they're really easy. You could wear these with your bathing suit and just like slip them on and go or with a cute little sundress. And these were only $15 from Walmart. I ordered them offline and I got them in my regular size. I've shared these before, but I absolutely love these sandals I got from Target. They're just flats, really quick slip-ons, and they're so sparkly. I've been wearing them when going to do like my dress try-ons or when I went dress shopping just because they're easy to throw on real quick and comfortable, so I'm not wearing heels the whole day. I'm so not a heels person like this this is pretty much the max of where i can get my comfortability level and even then i can't even wear that all day and then i just have this like bride tank top that i got on clearance from kohl's but that is everything i'm going to share in this try on haul thank you so much for watching it all the way through and seeing the different dress choices and outfit choices i have i would love to hear your feedback which one should i keep which one should i send back I still don't feel very good or confident in picking a dress for my bridal shower, so I very well may have to do another one of these coming up here soon. Um, as for my rehearsal dinner, I think I'm going to pick maybe one of the first two dresses I tried on, so I I'd love to hear which one you liked better. And, um, the shorter lacy ones I just weren't for me, I don't think, and then that the longer lace ones, um, both the Target and the one from Amazon, I just... I just feel really pretty in those, so I'm, I need to find an occasion to wear those. But just to give you like where my headspace is at, thank you again so much for being here and supporting my channel and help this wedding happen because everything that's been going on this year, I, um, I'm grateful for my audience being here, watching my videos, clicking on ads, clicking on my links in the description box, and even if you're just commenting and sharing this with a friend, that means so 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 much to me and my family but thank you again i will see you in a video very soon bye